For more on Blockbuster, we're joined this morning uh, by Brad Adgate. He's a director of research at Horizon Media. Uh, for more on this, so what do you think? I mean, what do you think, Charles Organ? Is he going to be able to keep them? Well, yeah, I think he will. I mean, there's 1,700 Blockbuster stores when this deal gets through, and you know they do sell other products. You know, Slingbox is a great is a great product that they own. That that's kind of been sluggish in sales, and if they can kind of create a retail outlet to sell that stuff, and and what John was talking about, you know, it's 91 percent of the country now gets cable. There's concerns about people cutting the cord. You know, the Dish is fighting a battle with Telco and Directv and and cable operators to kind of maintain market share, and you know by offering things that other people can't get such as kind of like the old Netflix model of, of uh, you know, if you're, if you're a Dish subscriber, you can get free uh, DVDs by mail, kind of like, kind of like that, and, and other opportunities. So there's, you know, there, there's something there for $320 million. Uh, uh, Brett, they're obviously buying this on the cheap. It, you know, they're, they're a distressed asset here. But how much of the value really will be derived from the content side of things as opposed to that retail distribution outlet? You know, I think it's one of those things like early on, you're going to get more value from it, uh, you know, years gone, going on by, and people start to get content online and streaming and so on and so forth, you know, the old brick and mortar business is kind of like going by the wayside. So I think early on, yeah, I, I think there is a lot of value there. But, but you know, five years, ten years down the road, perhaps not as much. You know, the flip side to all this is that they've got this battle that they're having to fight right now. And yesterday, uh, we saw Dish sign a new deal with Epix. And yeah. overnight, we heard Netflix signing a new deal with Mad Men. I mean, that's where the focus is for all these companies right now. If Dish has to start worrying about the retail and redesigning the stores, that's going to eat up a lot of Charlie Jurgen's time. Well, you know, early on, Blockbuster actually had a deal with, with DirecTV when they were just starting. So there is a possibility that, that you know, it's kind of like Blockbuster. Blockbuster's a great brand name despite its declining assets. Dish is obviously another great brand name. So you go into a store, you see kind of see the cross-marketing opportunities that, that you talked about earlier. It kind of kind of reinforces a mindset in a very hyper-competitive uh, video distribution marketplace right now. Uh, you wonder about Carl Icahn, right, who also bid, and what's going what's to be left for what, he, what he's going to do, because I think he had wanted more store closures at Blockbuster. Yeah, you know, that's true. And, and uh, you know, and there's another company, a mobile company, that also bid on it. And, you know, uh, Blockbuster does have some mobile capabilities, and so does Dish with with, uh, with with their Slingbox. So there's a lot of different components to this deal that that uh, that's kind of interesting. But I don't know what Carl Icahn's going to do. I think no one can figure him out. No, I mean I think he still has what a three percent stake in Blockbuster. Or yeah, like that. I mean, like debt. And 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 I think the the value for Charlie Ergen was that there really weren't a lot of serious bidders in this process, yeah. right? Everybody else is busy doing their own thing right now. Yeah, it's a, it was a real discount, 320 million. That's I think early on that's going to be a great great deal for him. Uh, Brad, you know, John had mentioned this about that Netflix deal with Lionsgate yeah. and, you know, getting Mad Men and, uh, Mad Men and streaming that. Um, you know, as Blockbuster tries to restructure itself, I mean, how much more of a lead way does that give Netflix in terms of, you know, cementing its market share? Well, you know, I think if you look at Netflix last year, they actually made more money on their DVD by mail business than they did in their streaming content visit. I think this year, yeah, I think the tide's going to turn a little bit and you're going to see more streaming content. Now, the thing about Mad Men is it's not a big rated show. It did, doesn't even do two and a half million viewers on a Sunday night, which is, considering what Jersey Shore does, it's not a lot. But, I, <laughs> but, but you know, I do think that it kind of, it's setting a model. You know, they cut a deal with House of Cards last, you know, last month, which is kind of very highbrow profile show. Mad Men's like that. You know, there really wasn't a big off-network need for Mad Men. It's, it's a serialized show, and those shows don't repeat well. You know, Lost doesn't repeat well. 24 doesn't repeat well. And is he paying so, too much? A hundred million dollars for seven seasons? He, that, that is a lot. But, you know, he could also sell advertising time. You know, there's nothing to prevent Netflix from selling advertising. You know, cable operators now broadcast networks get two revenue streams. You know, you get Netflix get eight eight dollars a month per subscriber, but they can also there's nothing to stop them from doing that. Same thing with Hulu Plus, right? That the whole notion of kind of enhancing the product for the viewer out there. Yeah. Quickly, it raises the question: Would a cable operator team up with Netflix? Get Netflix to come and join a? I mean, you know, forget the hot whether they team up with a Hollywood. What about a cable company? Yeah, I mean, it's certainly you know a lot of cable companies are big ISP, so I don't think necessarily the big cable operators would do that because, you know, Comcast and Time Warner are in, you know, a lot of homes. But some of the smaller ones, yeah, I definitely could see that. And, and you know, creating a Netflix app, and, and uh, which, which I think is coming on Apple, and, and you know, selling uh, selling advertising time and, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of opportunities, and I could see a cable operator doing that, or even a satellite company. Okay. Well, more to come then. We'll see. Brad, thank you hey, thank for you. stopping by. Brad Adgate of Horizon Media uh, talking about Dish Network buying Blockbuster.